Welcome back, friends. This week, we delivered a desk. We closed a deal on a living room full of furniture. And discovered why we hate sales. We hate sales? We've hated sales for a while. Uh, well, now we know why. <laughs> We're Jenny and Davis. We fly through hurricanes for research and build furniture for fun. A while ago, we came up with a business plan to sell quality furniture, which brings people together. Follow along as we build our business empire. Empire? Yes, Jenny, big goals. Okay, we're starting an empire. Maybe one day it'll span beyond the garage. Would you like to say a few words? Yes. So this is the finished desk. Uh, I think it turned out really well. It's really sturdy. So we're gonna spray some finish on it and it'll look really nice. I also like this design because you can make it farmhouse if you want. You can make it farmhouse modern. You can make it boho. It's just really versatile. So the customer can basically choose whatever decorations they want to put on it to make it match whatever room they want in their house. All right, so the desk is pretty much done. We just have to make the delivery. It's been a long time since we've done a delivery. The last delivery we made was in North Dakota. last week's video where we talked about how Jenny had sold a coffee table to one of our coworkers. Well, we misunderstood. Uh, he wanted a little more than a coffee table. He wanted a whole living room set. He wanted an end table. He wanted one of those nice tables that like cantilevers over the edge of the couch. Yeah, so Jenny just closed that deal down. So if you didn't see it yet, we did our first live stream on the YouTube channel this week. Once we closed down the deal on the living room full of furniture, we had to get our proposal back to the customer so that they could approve the final design and we could start building. We wanna do more live streams like this in the future. So go ahead and hit that bell next to the subscribe button and you'll be notified when we go live and you can come hang out with us. It's a great time. So these kind of builds are definitely familiar territory for us. These are, it's essentially what we did back in North Dakota. This is what we did in our business at that time, big custom builds. But now we've got so much more going on in the background, which is so cool. We're doing cutting boards for realtors. We've got custom charcuterie boards. So we've got built to order furniture on our website. We're also meeting with realtors. We're going out to local businesses. We're able to donate things to charities. We've just got so much more going on now than we did back in North Dakota. It definitely helps when you quit your full-time job, but no matter what, we would not have time for any of this had we not split up our roles in the business a couple weeks ago. So you can watch that video right up here. We talk all about it. So in that video, we talked about how one of my new responsibilities since we split up roles is sales. And that is not my forte, which is why I chose it, but eh. It's been hard because sales is crucial in a business. You have to be actively selling your product. And I know what a bunch of you are thinking right now. Some of you are probably typing it in the comments as we speak saying, word of mouth is great, that's all you need. Or if your work is good enough, it should sell itself. Stop it, 
Stop typing right now. No. So word of mouth is a great marketing tool. It's a good way to get your name out there, but it's unpredictable. There is no way for you to predict from week to week what jobs are gonna fall into your lap based on your word of mouth. And if you're just waiting around for work to fall into your lap, that's kind of an irresponsible plan if you're trying to hire an employee who then depends on you for their income. But I get it, if you're just a one-man show in your garage, maybe you don't want to hire any employees, yeah, word of mouth is gonna work great for you. But if you want to take that business to the next level, maybe start hiring some employees, you have to take responsibility for the sales process. You're an irresponsible boss if you don't. So why do I struggle with sales? Everybody struggles at sales, I feel like. It's just hard. Even people who are good at sales still struggle and get nervous from time to time. It's very rare to find somebody who like thrives off of the sales process. We have a couple in the studs deck. They're a riot. So sales is hard because you have to outsmart your own brain. And everybody's got weaknesses that they need to overcome, but nobody likes to admit that they have those weaknesses, and so your brain's gonna try to hide those from you. But what the sales process does is it like drags those weaknesses out of the closet, shines a spotlight on it, and says, here they are, they're right here. You're not making money because of this. And that's where it gets hard. So any fears you have are gonna keep you from making a call. Whether you're scared of asking people for money, whether you're afraid that people are gonna judge you, whether you're just scared in general of public speaking. And any lack of confidence is gonna come across in your phone calls or conversations with other people. And the customer is gonna be able to sniff all of that out. And if the customer doesn't think you're confident about it, they're not gonna be confident about it. My particular fear is hesitating. I can think up eight million what if questions before I pick up the phone and make a phone call. What if they don't like me? What if they don't wanna buy what I'm selling? What if they ask me a question that I don't know the answer to? What if they can tell I'm nervous? What if they don't feel like talking to me today? But I let those questions sit in my head for way too long and then I never end up making the call because I'm too scared of saying the wrong thing that I say nothing at all. And the joke is that the solution to that problem is just to make the call anyways. Even if you feel kind of unprepared, you need to get in there, get your hands dirty, and just make some repetitions of you making sales calls. Because your business is not going to fail because you don't have a home run sales call every single time. A Hall of Fame baseball player only has a 300 batting average. All it takes is hitting the ball 30% of the time. Not 100% of the time, not even 80% of the time, 30% of the time. So when we were trying to close the deal on this living room set, I basically told myself that this was not sales. I just didn't put too much pressure on myself for this specific sales call. And it ended up working out. I had to do very little sales. This client knew exactly what they wanted. I was just guiding them through the process of finding a design that they liked, which is sales. But then we got it done and it was an easy base hit to build my confidence. It also helped that he was literally the perfect customer. He knew exactly what he wanted. He was willing to give us a little bit of creative freedom and he wasn't trying to nickel and dime us. I know he watches our videos, but I'm telling the truth. He was an amazing customer to work with. So we're interested to hear in what your fears are with sales. What is it that scares you about the sales process? Let us know down in the comments. Um, if, if you're down there in the comments, maybe help somebody. Let's try to be a positive influence and help each other out. So share your ideas with other people in a respectful way of how they can maybe solve that problem. That's one of the things that we do in the stud stack is when somebody has a problem, them, they post it and they've got 60 or so of their best friends like helping them solve the problem. It's other business owners. So quick plug for the stud stack, studstack.net if you're interested. But yeah, I mean, that was pretty much our week. We had a lot of stuff to get done. A lot. Uh, we got a lot more to do in the next couple of weeks. So uh, again, subscribe. We're going to start designing that furniture to get our plan ready so I can start building it. Uh, we'll be live streaming that. Um, we've also got a lot of sales that we're going to start following up on. So subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, we're trying trying to start our second furniture business here in the Houston area, and we'd love to have you follow along on our journey. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Ask me how I do it, I just stick to the play.